Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing somewhat of a story time type, type of video, but before I get into that, I just want to say you guys have probably been wondering where, uh, if anybody watches me, you know, I do top 20 ranked, usually the first week of the month. Uh, I'm I assuming that, you know, most of the Christmas music is gone by this Tuesday, by the next chart week I will do top 20 ranked. I didn't want to do it last week because there was so much Christmas music and it's just, I just didn't really want to talk about that. So a little update for you guys. Uh, and there will be other music related videos coming. Uh, I've been pretty busy. I'm going to be pretty busy. I've got school starting again this week. So I don't know when I'll be uh, making videos, but I definitely still will be. Um, so today I thought I would do um, I would tell a, a, a few stories, um, uh, I believe one or two of the, I, I think a couple of these stories, I have told on my channel before, but way, way back, and they weren't <laughs> the best videos, so I thought I would combine all of these stories kind of into one video, so these are all going to be stories regarding, um, like, shopping for video games, or buying video games, or weird experiences I had buying games or consoles, uh, now, I know it sounds like kind of a weird idea for a video, but I just had a few stories. I told a couple of these stories before, so I could think of four stories that I could think of that I was going to tell. So the first one is going to be my cursed copy of Mario Kart Wii. So um, I had my friend's Wii at the time. I didn't have my own Wii, but I was borrowing my friend's Wii. And I really wanted to play Mario Kart Wii. I played it at my other friend's house and it was really fun. And we had Mario Kart 64. Um, so I really, really wanted to play Mario Kart Wii, and, um, I remember my friend, my other other friend came over, um, and she said she had no copy of Mario Kart, but she wasn't sure if it worked because her Wii games weren't in great shape because they were old. So we put it in and it read the disc, but then when we clicked on it, it wouldn't load and the game didn't work. So, um, that was unfortunate. So, um, the next day... We were out shopping somewhere, and we read a GameStop. It wasn't our, we didn't have a regular GameStop, but we didn't normally go to this GameStop or this area. Uh, it wasn't super far, but it was just not where we normally went. I don't remember why we were there, probably for something else. I honestly don't remember at this point. Uh, but, so we were at, so we went into the GameStop at the at the mall. That, no, it actually wasn't the one at the mall. It was a standalone GameStop, I think. I can't remember for sure. Uh, I don't think it was at the mall. Yeah, it was a standalone GameStop. And we went in there, and we bought a copy of Mario Kart Wii. My dad and we, we, we found a used copy of Mario Kart Wii, and we got it. And then we took it home, and this was the strangest, I will say right now, this was the strangest disc error I've ever had. I've had games, and I'll get into that in a bit. I've had multiple games I have tried to play in the past that have had an error where you'll start the game up in your Wii or Wii U or whatever. You'll start the game up, the game will load like normal on the on the menu and then you click on it you you open the game and when you try to start the game it doesn't work okay so it will load it will read to the point of the menu you can click on the menu the menu will read but when you try to start the game it doesn't work okay so i've seen that error happen a lot uh not a lot a lot but the majority of times i have games that have had issues i've bought used games a few times you know that haven't worked and i've had to take them back uh because that just happens sometimes but those are the majority of times i've had issues with both games those are the times. So, this story, uh, there's not really a whole lot to the story, but I just remember I got the game home and it, it worked, everything read fine, it loaded up. But when we tried to click two player, it didn't, it wouldn't work on two player, only one and three player would work. And then it took like 12 tries and two player finally worked. And then it was having some sort of issue during the battle. I don't even remember, not the battle, it was a uh, race, not battle, I don't know, but, um, was having some sort of issue reading it. I honestly don't remember. There was something weird going on with the, like, the menus just wouldn't work. I tried to select two-player, and it didn't want to work. So, um, that was probably the strangest disc error I've ever had. Uh, we ended up taking it back and getting another copy, so third time's the charm. Uh, that copy worked. I still have that copy. Uh, it's worked fine ever since, so yeah, um, but kind of weird. Um, the second story I have is a story I have I told before on my channel. It's been a long time. Um, I think it was a two-parter, and it was a really long time ago uh, that I told it. Uh, but this story was when my dad and I were buying a Wii U. So we were buying a pre-owned, like, used Wii U. 
Uh, this was around, um, I think, Thanksgiving of 2017. Uh, like I said, I got into gaming in 2016. This was Thanksgiving of 2017. Uh, and um, the Switch had come out, but at this point, I thought the Wii U was the better purchase because I wanted to get... Um, I already had a bunch of Wii games. We wanted to get Breath of the Wild, and... Um, the uh, and it took all the Wii controllers and stuff. You didn't want to buy extra controllers. The Switch was more expensive, all that. So this was before they, they ported a ton of the Wii U games to the Switch. So at this point, buying a Wii U was a better investment because there were more games that were cheaper on the Wii U. Of course, since then, stuff like Mario Maker's come out, um, Smash, uh, lots of things, more Wii U ports that have come over. Or those aren't really ports, but those are like sequels, I guess. But they're, they're good versions of those games. Uh, stuff like We've got ports that have come out since. We've got, like, new Super Mario Bros. and different things. So, obviously, by 2017, Splatoon 2 was already out. And, um, I believe, um, Mario Kart 8 uh, Deluxe was already out. But, again, these games were $60. The Wii, the Wii U ones were going for, like, 20 to 40 So, I used at this point. So, um, we, um, at this point, we thought it would be a better investment. So, my dad and I, we had talked about getting a Wii U. We only had one TV. I didn't have a gaming setup up here at all. Uh, well, it wasn't up here because it was in another house, but you get the idea. Uh, we talked about getting a Wii U for a long time, and we'd been traveling. So we were out traveling, and we were coming back into town. It was a Sunday night after Thanksgiving. We stopped at the mall uh, for something. I don't even remember why we stopped at the mall. Uh, well, I, think, I think we needed, like, candles or something. We needed something for, like, Christmas. I don't remember. We stopped at the mall, and um, we um, went in there. And while we were there, we went into the GameStop. We're like, oh, there's a GameStop. So we went into the GameStop at the mall. And this wasn't, this wasn't our, like, close mall. This was the mall on the way home uh, from where we were coming back into town. Uh, the other mall we normally go to, I'll get to that later. So <laughs> this mall was, was fine. It wasn't really a big issue. Uh, this, this mall's okay. I haven't been there in a while, but it, it's fine. So we went to... Um, the GameStop, and we went in there, and we asked, at this point, they had the pre-owned, the used we used for $1.99, uh, it was, they were the deluxe, you know, the, the black one, uh, because that's the bigger gigabyte model, and those are the mo more common ones, because they did discontinue the, um, white model, I believe, uh, anyway, and those are still out there, now I'm finding them used on Amazon for about 100 bucks, uh, which is great, uh, because I probably need to pick up a, another one at some point, but going into this story, uh, this, so, so my dad, so he was gonna get this Wii U, I'd gotten all these, so I had gotten all the Wii remotes, all the controllers, I still have them, they're mine, I'm taking them with me, uh, but, um, so we asked, hey, do you, do you have any Wii U's? And, and there were like two youngish guys there working at the GameStop, and, um, and I remember this was so strange because this guy was like, yeah, let me check, and then he goes back, and then we ask them, it's a relatively simple question, does it come with a sensor bar? Because, okay, so, you know, the Wii, the Wii U can play Wii games, if you have a Wii remote, you need a sensor bar, okay? So, um, I had a sensor bar at home, but it was a third-party sensor bar, and it was my friend's sensor bar with my friend's Wii, so when I gave her her Wii back, I needed to give her a sensor bar back. Now, she technically didn't ask for the Wii back, but I just wanted to give it back to her. I don't know if she's actually used it since, but that's beside the point, because she's busy. Uh, anyway, uh, she's not being unge ungrateful. She's just had college and stuff. But anyway, uh, the Wii. Uh, she did end up giving me the N64, because she said she's she's never going to play it again, because she has she's an adult, whatever. I'm still going to play N64 when I'm an adult. That's besides the point. So, uh, <laughs> we went... Um, so we were buying this Wii U, and we asked them, do you have, does it come with a sensor bar? Does the Wii U, or the pre-owned one, because, you know, you, you never know what's in the package, does it come with a sensor bar? And the guy was like, I, I think so, and the other guy's like, uh, I don't know, and then he's like, does it come with a sensor bar? And they're, like, debating this um, between themselves for, like, a minute, and I'm like, I don't understand. Um... Um, and to me, I know, I know, I've seen a lot of stuff where people will be like, oh, they're gonna try to sell you things, uh, even if it's already included, so, like, 
uh, because, you know, they're going to try to sell you things. So one time somebody said they were trying to sell them Joy-Con grips when the Joy-Con grips were already included with the Switch or something. Uh, but so, like, I heard somebody say something like that. But this instance wasn't like, oh, we're trying to sell you a sensor bar. Uh, because if that, was the, if that was the case, you would just say, no, it doesn't. Even though it did come up a sensor bar, you would, you would try to scam us into buying a sensor bar, right? Okay, that's what you would have done if that was your business tactic, or you would have told us the truth and just said yes, you would have known. It seemed like these guys literally didn't know what was going on. I would imagine they, at least one of them, were probably holiday temp people because it was right after Thanksgiving. Uh, again, pretty crazy. Um, this dude, they, they, they just did not know. They were just, so I don't know if one of them was trying to like sell us the sensor bar and like pretend they didn't know or what was going on. It was really weird. Uh, and at the end of the day, we ended up just buying a sensor bar, which was like $15. Uh, and it, it was, um, uh, I believe this was made by Nintendo. So I've seen these sensor bars. It's, it's, like a, it, it's like a very large sensor bar, very large, very fat sensor bar. It takes four AA batteries. Now, most of the sensor bars that I have that have come with consoles, the one that actually did end up coming with the Wii U, because there was one that came with the Wii U, and I do have a spare one here now. And I also have one with my Wii that came with my pre-owned Wii when I bought that, uh, 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 my, my regular Wii, so that's cool, so those sensor bars, you just plug in, uh, they're, ve they're wireless, they work really well, they're small, they're efficient, okay, for this area, so I assume this big fat sensor bar, I don't know if it was supposed to be, like, something for a larger entertainment area, or if it was, like, a big TV, or s that was the idea, I don't really know, we didn't have a big TV at all, but, um, Actually, we only had the one TV at the time, and it wasn't even, it wasn't even, it was a CRT, it wasn't even, it wasn't even a, um, an HD TV. So, um, the really, really funny thing is that, uh, yeah, you might see behind me that TV, well, there's actually two that I have there, but the one that I have is, we used to have that downstairs in my old house. So, um, sorry, I heard something. Anyway, um. This story is so strange. Uh, so, uh, I also asked them if it would play on an old TV, and they're like, oh, I don't know. So that was not fun. So we did end up buying the sensor bar, and it was huge. It was a hunk, and it did end up coming with it, so they were kind of clueless. And um, I remember after that, it was like 5 o'clock. The mall was closing at like 6. They didn't really have any games I wanted at the GameStop because they had a pretty small selection because it was a mall GameStop. So we left, and we got food somewhere. And then we went to Walmart because we had just gotten back into town. We needed groceries anyway. Uh, like, we needed milk and stuff because, you know, that, that would have spoiled or we'd thrown it out before we went. I can't remember. But we needed stuff like milk and, you know, what, whatever. Like, my dad eats bananas. I don't eat bananas, but, you know, stuff like that. So uh, we went to Walmart, and my dad said I could pick out a game because we needed a Wii U game to, you know, test it. Uh, so I... Uh, went to, we went, we, together, we went to the electronic department at this Walmart, and, again, this isn't my normal Walmart, um, at all, I don't like to go to Walmart in general, because it's really stressful, but this, so we were at this Walmart, and, uh, we went in to the Walmart, to, into the electronics department, and there was this older guy working the electronics counter, okay, so, so I go to the back, and I'm like, I'm looking at the games, and they had Mario 3D World for 20 bucks, so I'm like, hey, we'll get that, so I went into the back, I, I, we went over to the guy at the electronics counter, and we said, hey, can you get a game for us, or whatever, so he comes back, um, he's really slow, this guy is like, um, Flash in Zootopia, not, not that slow, but, um, I've had multiple people like that at Walmart, I've had cashiers at Walmart who are just like, Flash, I swear to God, it's so weird, uh, anyway, this, this dude, um, He's going to the back, and he's like, Mario for the Wii U, huh? <laughs> and, and we were like, yeah? So he's like, that's not selling much. And, and we're like, yeah? Get the darn game out. I mean, this whole ordeal took way longer than it should have. We just got back in town. We were tired. I wanted to go home, test the thing, and go to bed. Like, honestly, it was just, it was a lot. So this, this guy was just super pushy. So... He gets, he, he's slowly going, he's like, points at the, at the Switch, at Mario Odyssey, and even though I didn't think the Switch was the right purchase at the point, Mario Odyssey was always that game I looked at and was like, I want this. Uh, one of the reasons I did end up buying a Switch, and honestly, after hyping it up for two years, it, I, I don't mean it let me down, it's still a great game, but like, 
I don't know. I'm still super glad I have a Switch. I have lots of great games on my Switch. Switch is great. I'm just saying Mario Odyssey specifically, you know, whatever. But going back into this story, um, uh, so this dude, um, he, he's, he's being very slow and then he points at some of the 3DS Mario games and he's like, and those, like those are selling better. And at this point I still did have a 3DS, but I think I had most of the major Mario games on 3DS. Uh, they had like some spinoffs. They probably like Mario Party. They had like, I don't even remember. They had like some sports game. They, I, they had like all this 3DS spinoffs, uh, the Mario and Luigi games. I did own one of them and I think I played it for like half an hour, but I never ended up <laughs> playing it for very long. Uh, there were lots of 3DS games I owned that I never really ended up playing much, and then, um, uh, because I kind of got to a point where I kind of got bored of my 3DS. Um, so, uh, back to this story. Uh, so, we go up to the counter, he, he takes the game out very slowly, walks back to the counter, and, to ring us up, and we're just standing there, and he starts kind of hounding us about getting a Switch. Now he's like, you know, you should get a Switch, you know, a Switch for $30, you know, the new Switch, blah, 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 blah. And I'm just going to say this right now, he didn't know. We have literally just bought a last-gen console used. We're not going to buy a next-gen console new right after that. It's not happening. So we already made up our decision. So this guy was just trying to pressure us, this older, older gentleman, trying to pressure us into buying a Switch. The whole time he's ringing us up really slowly, he's like, maybe you should get a Switch, blah, 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 blah. And we were just like, what the heck? And I remember, I remember he's, he's ringing us up, he, we're about to leave, and he's like, yeah, uh, do you want the $2 protection plan on this, you know, $20 game? We're like, no, just get out of my, <laughs> we didn't say that, but it's like, they have to ask that, like, that's a, you know, that you you have to ask do you want the protection plan whatever but it, it's just so funny I was just like oh my god dude and this whole time I've heard so many people talk about like um GameStop employees or like people I mean just just retail in general but I've heard it a lot with like GameStop people will be like like try to pressure you into getting pre-orders or like come in hi do you need anything hi how, how can I help you uh I've seen like I've, I've heard that a lot and it's really funny because um to me, uh, I've never really had, I've never really had GameStop employees do that to me, uh, I mean, I'm sure sometimes they'll ask if you want to pre-order something, or that, you know, they'll, they'll, they have to ask, you know, do you want the protection plan, or do you want that, uh, but, but it's never been, like, hounding me, or been, like, you should get the, you know, it's, it, <laughs> um, and they do that because they're supposed to ask, they're supposed to do that, like, it's, like, uh, they're supposed to get pre-orders and stuff, so they have to, you know, ask, ask where they're trying to get more pre-orders or whatever, because it's like numbers and stats, so like how many pre-orders did you get? So that's why they're, that's why they, they, they ask it, which generally, you know, I'll just say no thanks. I don't want, you know, I don't want to pre-order anything. But even then, I don't get, I don't get people asking me that very much. They just seem pretty chill uh, where I live. I don't know, maybe in more populous areas, I heard about a really scummy GameStop in New York City. Some guy was telling me that story. Or not telling me, but telling a story on YouTube that I watched the video. Uh, maybe like in busier areas, it's just a lot more like where I live, it's pretty chill. Uh, most people are just like, uh, yeah, um, here's GameStop, right, it's just, it's just not a big deal, so, uh, it's funny, because the, 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 the biggest time I can remember being hounded by a retailer to buy something game-related was at Walmart, it was at Walmart, and it was this dude, uh, and when we took the Wii U home, it did, it did play on the TV with the, uh, composite cables, and it did, um, it did, um, you know, work. Everything worked fine, but, um, the sensor bar worked. It did come with a sensor bar, of course, uh, although at that point I didn't know how to use the wired sensor bar, because I'd always used the wireless ones, because the third party one my friend had was wireless. I have two wired ones now. I have one that's spared. I did come with a Wii U, uh, because we still have the giant hunk downstairs. I don't know why, uh, and then I have another sensor bar, which came with my pre-owned Wii, which, again, plugs in. It's really simple to use. I don't know why I was so worried about it, and I was able to set up the Wii U, and it worked, but I remember it was, like, cut off on the sides, like, the picture, because of the way the TV was. Um, so, that TV, uh, that TV is notorious for cutting things off. Also, it's just an older TV, so, like, it wasn't formatted right, or whatever. But, uh, but, so, that was pretty, that was a pretty epic, pretty, pretty long, like, oh, we're just trying to buy a Wii U. So, that was, we had GameStop employees who had no idea what they were doing, 
or were trying to scam us poorly, one or the other, I'm not sure which, either way it was kind of funny. And then we had the, the guy at Walmart who's like, you should buy a Switch! <laughs> Except in the most unenthusiastic way possible. Uh, like, I'm dead inside. It's Thanksgiving weekend. I want to go home to my kid. Please leave me alone. My, my grandkids. Please leave me alone. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, so, it ended up working out because I was saying about the Wii U. Hey, you know, that probably wasn't the best purchase at the time. But it ended up working out because now my dad has my dad has the Zelda machine. Because uh, my dad got super into Zelda, so he has the Zelda machine. Because the Wii U basically is a Zelda machine. That That's what the Wii U is. We all know this. Uh, it's just a fact that... Uh, I just got on Twilight Princess, the, the Wii copy, because, you know, Wii games can play on the Wii U, because the Wii U one's really expensive. Uh, he, he has Wind Waker HD, uh, oh man, I don't remember. Uh, he has Ocarina of Time on the ver on downloaded on the Virtual Console. I'm like, hey dad, I'm just gonna keep buying his Zelda games, okay? <laughs> so, I got him Ocarina of Time, I got him, I got him, uh, Twilight Princess now. He hasn't played it yet, but he was playing Ocarina at some point. So, I'm just like, hey. But... He just got me Link's Awakening on the Switch, so we're, we're cool. <laughs> um, so anyway, um, yeah, so it's like, hey, now he has the Zelda machine, so that's cool. I got him into playing Zelda, whatever, that's cool. <laughs> I remember back when we when we shared this, this Wii U and we shared the Zelda, <laughs> we would always argue about who got to play Breath of the Wild. Like, we'd come home and be like, who gets to play? <laughs> uh, it's like, now I have a Switch. I have my own copy of Breath of the Wild. I have um, lots of stuff. Um, some of the games I still have on the Wii U, I mean, I still have, like, Smash and stuff. I still play, I still play it with my friends when they come over because I don't have enough Switch controllers or enough space to play my Switch. So, uh, yeah. And, um, uh, but I'm thinking, like, when I move out, I need to pick up, like, another Wii U, uh, because some of the games that are on the Wii U are my games. And my dad's never gonna play them. And also, stuff like Mario 3D World, which hasn't been ported to Switch. Unless they announce, if they announce that port, like, next week. If they do a Nintendo Direct and announce that port, then maybe I'll just get the port and not worry about it. But otherwise, I'm probably gonna pick up another Wii U. But that's beside the point. So, the third story I have um, is one I've told before. And this is probably the most... I would want to say this is the worst experience I had at GameStop. But it, it wasn't even, like... It wasn't a horrible experience uh, because it wasn't like people trying to scam us or the workers being mean or anything. It was just an instance of stuff not working. So I remember I did this whole like clickbaity story time about it, like two years ago. I was like, this is the craziest GameStop experience, bro. And it really wasn't. It really wasn't that big of a deal. But it was annoying. I think I think annoying would be the way to describe this um, situation. So um, I remember... Um, that before I had appointments on Tuesday evenings, which actually I might be switching appointments back to um, Sundays instead, so that's pretty neat. So I made up Tuesday evenings for again, not that it really matters because I, um, y'all know, have school Wednesday, but the point about Tuesday evenings is that um, uh, we used to go, we still go to this movie theater, it's the smallest, cheapest, not smallest, but it's like, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty small. Uh, the cheapest movie theater, it's kind of in an area that's kind of dying uh, where I live. It's just not many people go there. The only people who go there are locals. I mean, nobody. It's not like on a major highway or anything. It's just, you know, and with online shopping and just people in general, just less people in general shopping and less people who live here. And a lot of them are old people who don't get out much. So, uh, it just not an area that's not doing great. But this, this, um, this, this movie theater it's it's really it's 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 really fun we always go there it's really it's relatively cheap um it, it's cool so um it's kind of our little you know poor movie theater <laughs> uh but um I remember I don't know if they still do this I'd have to look into it if I have Tuesday nights free again uh but for a while they were doing five dollar movies on Tuesdays uh, I think it was like five dollar matinees it was like four or five o'clock we would go uh so we would go to like the five dollar movies and um I remember they were selling, I don't even remember what movie we saw, I honestly can't remember, uh, this was in 2018, this would have been, like, summer or something, honestly, I can't remember, we saw a bunch of movies in 2018, I honestly can't remember what, what we were seeing, uh, might have been, like, Ant-Man, it might have been, like, um, what even came out that summer, um, I honestly don't remember, it wasn't Incredibles 2, because I saw that at a different theater, uh, it was something. I, I can't even remember what we were watching. That's not the point. Uh, so, 
um, our little movie theater. So, uh, sometimes if I had money, I would run to the GameStop at the mall afterwards. Uh, so, it, that's, that's our local mall. That's the really cruddy mall that's dying. We're about to lose Hot Topic. Uh, we've lost a bunch of stores. We lost Sears. We lost Macy's. Uh, we lost game. We lost that GameStop, which honestly, good riddance. I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, so, <laughs> um, this GameStop was always kind of cold in the wall. Not like dirty, but it was just kind of old. You got this vibe of like dust and just like all the games had been on the shelf for like a really long time, right? Like all the used games had just been kind of collecting dust on the shelf. Okay, so especially with like the Wii U and stuff, because that wasn't used much. So. I just wanted to play Splatoon, okay? I didn't have a Switch, I didn't have Splatoon 2, but I just wanted to play Splatoon. Okay, so, I went in, and I had like 20 bucks, or 25, 30 bucks, I don't remember, I didn't have a ton of money. I found a pre-owned copy of Splatoon for like 20 bucks, I don't remember what it was. Uh, this was back when we had Elite Pro, when that was a thing, that's not even a thing anymore, uh, they got rid of it, but, uh, we had Elite Pro for like a year, and it was great, it was great savings, and then they, they actually, um, quit using Elite Pro, and we were supposed to renew it for regular pro, but we just never did. So, uh, you know, we just never renewed it. I still, I still pick up things at GameStop occasionally, but it's just, I don't know. If if it's if I'm somewhere and there's a game, but it's just more often than not, I get games online or I just go to Walmart or whatever. But okay, so the point of this video was um uh, the story. So we went into a GameStop. I found a pre-owned copy of Splatoon for about twenty bucks, uh, and I got some other game, which was really really cheap, like three dollar game, Star Wars Force Unleashed on the Wii. And we rung them up, and rung, rang, I don't know, we, we, you know, had them scanned, had them, whatever. So, they, um, they rang up our games. So, and we went home. So, what I want to say real quick is I said at the beginning of the video how most games I've ever had that have had a discrete error have always been, like, they'll load properly, in the Wii or Wii U, you click on it, and then it has issues. And this is act had actually happened with one of our Wii U games. Uh, I think it was Sonic Lost World. I think it was from the same GameStop. Uh, and you know, we took it back. I, I think I traded Sonic Lost World for Kirby's Epic Yarn or something. Like, I took it back to GameStop, they didn't have another copy, so I just picked up whatever game they had on the shelf. Um, I did end up getting another copy of Sonic Lost World at the other GameStop, and yeah, it's not that great. But that's beside the point. Uh, this isn't about Sonic Lost World. Um, so, this is about Splatoon. So, we went in there, and Splatoon. So, and like, now there's no reason to play Splatoon 1 that we have Splatoon 2, but at the time I didn't have a Switch, so whatever. Um, so, we, um, were, the, 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 um, so I took it home, and you know, I tried out the disc, and I was expecting, you know, I was expecting maybe there to be a discrete error, because that can happen sometimes. This was the strangest error I've ever had, so I put it in the game. It did not recognize the disc at all. Didn't load the title screen, didn't do anything. You know, it wasn't like a normal error I would have, where I would put it in, it would load, and then you'd click on it, and it, would ha it wouldn't read, or it would, you know, whatever. This disc gave me a blank spot on the Wii U and it said disk, it said something like disk not readable or disk not compatible. I don't remember what it said. It said something like that. Completely blank slate. Like, it would not read the disk whatsoever. Um, like, that's like the same situation I feel I would have if I put like a DVD in there or an Xbox game or something. Like, it's completely incompatible with the Wii, right? Okay? No. This was a Wii U game I was putting into my Wii U, completely incompatible, okay? So that was weird. So I took it out, and I looked at it, and it had some weird marks on it. It had, like, almost, like, indentations. It was very strange. Uh, you know, I hadn't looked at it closer before I bought it. Uh, very, very strange. So I was frustrated, but, you know, these things happen, right? So it wasn't too big of a deal. So I took the game, and I, uh, you know, put it back in the case, and I said, I'll have to return it. So my friend was coming over the next day. Uh, she came over, the friend who originally loaned me the Wii, she came over, and, uh, she's a lot older than me, she has a car and stuff, uh, we haven't, we haven't talked in a while, but, uh, not like a falling out, she's just busy with adult stuff, uh, beside the point, uh, so she came in, and I said, hey, uh, you know, um, would you mind running to the mall, because I kind of need to return this, and she's like, oh, sure, I have a Hot Topic gift card, we can go, we can go shopping, whatever, so, we, we went, we went to the mall, um, I, we shopped at Hot Topic, that was fun. I returned the game. 
And, um, when I returned it, um, they gave me another copy of the same game. And I don't remember, so I think the guy had sold it to us the night before. I don't remember who the guy was. I, I, I think it was, like, a girl. I honestly can't remember who sold, who tra did the trade, you know, was like, oh, this copy doesn't work. Oh, okay, I'll get you another copy, right? So, got me another copy of the game. Looked fine. Didn't see the indentations. I, I think I'd showed her, like, the indentations or whatever. It wasn't a big deal. So, I, I went home with the new copy of Split Suit. My friend, you know, dropped me off at my house. And then I went in, tested the game. Same exact error. I'm not joking. Different copy of the game. Same exact error. Makes me wonder. Like, the fact that there were two exact copies of the same game with the same error. It makes me wonder if there was, like, a bad batch of Splatoon discs or something. Because that was just so strange. Um, th that was the strangest thing. So... I was mad at this point because I was under, for some reason, I was under the impression that they were supposed to test all their discs, which obviously they can't do. There are too many games that come in used. You're not going to be able to test all your games. That's why they have a money back guarantee. So if it doesn't work, hey, you can return it to us, right? So it's not a huge deal, but it was really annoying. So I was under this false impression that they had to test all their discs. I do think they have to test consoles. I'm not sure about that, but I think they do. I'm really unsure. Again, same issue. If a console didn't work, I'm sure I could just take it back. It's not a big deal. But this particular thing that happened was was just so annoying and just so bizarre. So I called my dad. I'm like, hey, we need to go buy some more. Same exact discreet area. He's like, really? And I'm like, yeah. So I was mad. So we went back to the mall and I went in and I I forget if it was the same girl from earlier. It was somebody working the counter and I'm like, hi. And you know, I'm I was pretty mad. I feel so bad now. So this manager comes out. So I ask, is the manager here? And the guy was there. I think it was the same guy who sold me the game last night. He's like, oh yeah, I'm a manager. So I'm like, okay, hi. So I was pretty mad. I'm like, you're supposed to test your disc bit, dad. <laughs> oh my God. It was so bad. I was so cringy. Like I was so bad. Uh, this poor manager, he's just like, well, I, we can't test all our discs, you know, whatever. It's a money back guarantee, whatever. So I was just like so mad. I was just like, you should test your discs more. And it was so strange because um, this whole thing, um, this this guy, this manager, um, actually seemed like a nice guy. Like, everyone who worked there, I'm like, I feel bad. I was just, like, so angry. Like, the thing is, it wasn't, like, bad employees or people trying to scam us or anything, as far as I know. It was just a weird coincidence. But I was so mad. And then finally, he's like, yeah, you know what? Just take it. We don't have another copy in here. So you know you can go across the street or you can go to the GameStop, you know, 20 minutes away, whatever. He's like, and I'm like, you know what? It's okay. Just give me a game. I was just mad at this point. So I just asked for store credit. I picked up Xenoblade instead. I walked out of there. I'm just like, I'm done. <laughs> so uh, I remember we did order Splatoon, I think on Amazon uh, at some point. So that one worked fine. So I don't know what it was with these GameStop used copies of Splatoon. It was, it's just the weirdest thing. But that was probably the worst experience I had at GameStop. That GameStop totally went under. Uh, come, you know, GameStops aren't doing great. And also, Walmart isn't, uh, not Walmart, sorry. The mall is is not doing well. That particular mall. So, was not doing good. I don't know. I think there's still one across the street. Uh, the one next to the Walmart. There's still a GameStop over there. I don't know. Uh, that one's been okay. I've only been in there once or twice. Uh, it was fine. Uh, I always go to the one. It, it's, in a, it's in a different area. Uh but like near my dance school, I always go to that GameStop because that GameStop is great. I've never had any issues. I've got games there. I've got pre-owned systems. I got my Wii there. Never had an issue, seriously. So I just kind of wonder if like that one at the mall was just like old, dirty games or just kind of like, my own man, right? Like, who knows? Also, more people coming to the mall. You know, you got kids. You got beat up games. You got whatever. It's just it's, it's just a lot. So that was probably the most inconvenient experience I had at GameStop and like I do hope like I, I feel bad because I'm like all that and then the GameStop went under I'm like I hope that wasn't my fault like no it, it wasn't it wasn't I didn't get anyone fired I think it was just it was just you know the mall's not doing well so they're just like let's close down this GameStop in this non-lucrative location right that, that, that was all it was and I do hope they seemed like nice people I do hope they got relocated somewhere whatever to a less cruddy GameStop but at the end of the day wasn't a huge deal, but it was by far the most inconvenient experience I had. Uh, the last story I have is at Walmart, and it was from when I bought my Switch. So, <laughs> uh, I have not told this one yet. So, this story 
is just it's just another like weird coincidence right nothing like super bizarre but it's just another weird coincidence that happened so I went in to Walmart with my dad and it was very windy because like, in the summer uh, I think it was like late June July because oh, I because I had been saving money for a while and then I got more money for my birthday and then I had enough money to buy a switch so I went in to buy the switch okay so um we went in and you know we're getting groceries whatever we went to the back and I'm like hey I want to I want to buy a switch so this this older lady is working back there uh I was really shy because I'm really bad at you know talking to strangers so I was saying like well and my dad's like oh she wants a switch and, and the lady's like uh remind me what what, what that is again <laughs> What is it with all these like boomers working electronics who don't know what the heck they're talking about? I swear. Uh, maybe it's not their normal department, you know, maybe they're just hired like as a cashier or some other department and they just, you know, are filling in over there. Who knows? Who knows? I don't know. Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, like they weren't mean about it or anything. It was fine. I honestly feel really bad for this lady because I'll tell you what happened. So, so she, so we, we, I go over and show her and I said I wanted to switch and then I showed her the two games I wanted, which was Mario Odyssey and Breath of the Wild. So, uh, she, she gets it all out, she takes it to the counter to ring it up, and again, this Walmart, on top of a hill, pretty windy, pretty crazy, the power goes out. So, before I get into the rest of that story, my town, where I live now, which was down the hill and in the valley from where the Walmart was, actually had a microburst. They were supposed to have fireworks that night because it was like early 4th of July. They canceled the fireworks because of the microburst because there were power lines down. The whole thing was a mess. Thankfully, our power was fine by the time we got back. I don't know if it was down, but the, it was like up the hill from where we lived. Uh, the power was like totally down in the park where they were gonna have the fireworks and it was just a mess. So this Walmart, th funnily enough, this actually isn't the only um, time I've had this happen in this area. Um, <laughs> uh, one time we were trying to see a movie in the movie theater that I was talking about. This is, this, is, this is the Walmart that's up by the movie theater and the mall, okay, that I was talking about. Uh, there's a, there's a Walmart that's close to us. I don't remember why we were at this specific Walmart. Uh, we must have been at the mall or do, doing something else up there. Uh, so we had this Walmart and this, um, lady, uh, okay, so power goes out and, you know, procedure she says you have to go to the front of the store because that's what they do at Walmart if the power goes out because uh, they don't want people running off with stuff you know they don't want people lurking around lurking around stealing stuff or whatever so um um you know pr procedure I was really stressed I was upset I was crying be not because of the switch so much but because I hate thunderstorms I am terrified of thunderstorms um, I probably never, I was so afraid the power was going to be out when I got home, I wouldn't even be able to test the thing, I would never get to buy the switch, I'm like, this is just my luck, right, I was just so upset. Uh, thunderstorms legitimately terrify me, they stress me out to no end. Um, I actually had a, a pretty severe panic attack in July, uh, during a thunderstorm, which I could tell that story another time, that's definitely not a fun story, but it is, um, you know, might be helpful to some people, but that, um, that's not for right now. So, um, this particular thing, I was just so stressed and upset. And I went to the, we you know, we went back there once power came back on. It took her a while to get like her, her register back up. Right. And I was just like, so I was so loud. I was just like, I'm so worried. Like, seriously, what are like, what if I, what if it's out when we go home? I was checking the weather, I was doing all the stuff. My dad's like trying to calm me down. I was so stressed out and I feel so bad for this lady. Cause she had to hear all this and whatever I said, I don't remember what I even said, if I said something rude, if I said something, I, I said something, I don't even remember, I was just mad, I was like, <sighs> but to be fair, I wasn't really mad, I was just stressed, because thunderstorms, again, scared the crud out of me, so I was just really stressed, thankfully, everything went down fine, the power came back on, thankfully, uh, I was able to buy my switch, walk out, everything worked fine, um, haven't had any issues with the switch since, uh, still have the protection plan or whatever, uh, which, funny story about that, that was actually the most expensive thing, uh, because I got, or not the most expensive thing, but I got, I got, the switch was like $300, I think I walked in with like, I don't even remember, it was like $450 or something, because I, I was like, hey, I want to get two games, right, so I should have like $420, okay, so I walked in, and I got the Switch for $300, and then each game, they were actually marked down, they weren't $60, they were $50. So I had like, I, so I had like, 
some money left over. So I'm like, hey, I'm gonna grab a case. The case was like 10 bucks. So I would've spent like $410. And then the protection plan, which I figured was worth getting, was like $35. I'm not even kidding. The protection plan was so expensive. And you know, by the time tax was on it, it was over. I, uh, like my dad had to pay a few dollars. But it was, it was just weird. But anyway, guys, those are the only stories I can think of about buying games. Every other experience I've had went relatively smoothly. I don't remember anything else weird happening. So those are the only weird ones I can think of. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, like it, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!